Hey everybody. Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to be talking about cleanup crews for tanks that are two and a half to 10 gallons, these smaller tanks. And why are we talking about them? Well, it came up when I'm getting ready to do an aquascape in my channel. The small scape, it's a three and a half gallon tank. It's called the puddle tank. And I've waited a long time to get this sweet little tank. So let's see what we have in store. Now, before we start, we do have a number of species profiles that we will link down below for any of the little uh, fish or critters that we are to mention. And I'm gonna start with the smallest tank sizes, and that would be the two and a half to five gallon range. Anything under a two and a half gallon is really kind of small to keep anything in it, at least as far as we are concerned. It's just too tough to maintain the water parameters and such. So the two and a half gallon to five gallon range, and this is a five gallon behind me here, I would recommend for your cleanup crew to have a snail. A lot of people do like nearite snails. And then I do prefer the mystery snails. They have a lot of color. They're really fun to watch. Anything towards the two and a half smaller size gallon tank, I would keep a single snail. But if you do get up towards this five gallon tank size, you could probably have a couple. Now, I've had tanks, I had a line of beta tanks. They were two and a half gallons. They were a little small, but we were going to be breeding them. And in each tank with each betta, I did have a mystery snail and it was really fun. It added a lot to the tank, even a small tank because of the color, the beautiful colors. I do prefer the magenta. That's my favorite color mystery snail and a lot of pop of color in that tank. And it's also really fun to watch your mystery snails just kind of creeping around the tank. I, I just like their activity. They're kind of goofy and uh, very relaxing to watch. Now a negative to just keeping a snail as your cleanup crew would be that they don't really tackle green hair algae if that's something that you deal with, but they will take care of some eaten, uneaten food and they'll also take care of some other algae for you. Another really great option for that two and a half to five gallon tank are these guys here. This is a three and a half gallon long Neocaridina shrimp or shrimp in general. Great option as a cleanup crew for those smaller nano tanks. And by the way, you can use these in the larger nano tanks too. You just get to keep more of them. And also before I forget, we've done a lot of stocking options videos for smaller tanks. I'm gonna put those down in the description below if you want more information. But the shrimp are great. They've got so many different color varieties. They're very interesting to look at. They're gonna do a great job getting the food, a little bit of the food that's been uneaten at the bottom of the tank. They will sometimes eat the green hair algae, especially if you go with the Amano shrimp. Great addition to those smaller tanks. Now, as we get over the five gallon to the 10 gallon size tank, my choice would be the pygmy quarry cat. I love these pygmies, especially if you have a bookshelf tank over the five gallon size. The tanks behind me are actually about an 8.3 gallon cube size tank, roughly. I love these size tanks and would be great for a little group of six pygmy quarries. They do like to be kept in groups. They stay very tiny. They have really fun activity level. Just like any other quarry cats, they make fun little piles. They like zooming around the tank. So you definitely want either, if you're closer to that five gallon size, you want a bookshelf tank where they have enough room to be zooming back and forth and get their activity. But this, this size behind me is really great too to keep a little group of pygmy quarries. They're really fun to watch. They're, they're just goofy little guys and uh, really fun little antics. And I highly recommend that you try them out. And they work out for anything, like I said, greater than five to all the way up to the st standard size 10 gallon tank. You're gonna get a lot of activity and a lot of fun to watch. Now, one of the fish I absolutely love for a 10 gallon, if you're looking for a cleanup crew, is the clown pleco. They're smaller than a bristlenose. They actually may have better color and they're gonna be doing a great job for you cleaning that algae off the glass and some of your decorations. They're not necessarily gonna do the green hair algae thing, but for a lot of the algae that's coating surfaces and for food that falls to the bottom of the tank, this is a great option for you. Now for the 10 gallon tank size, and I am in the fish room, forgive sounds of water changes, etc., being done in the background, but the 10 gallon tank size, you can, and if you do like quarry cats as I do, you can try the Hebrosis Quarry. I really love them. They get uh, about an inch and a half long, but they're really fun. If you love quarry cats, then you know why. They have a lot of activity. They're kind of goofy. They like to form piles. But it, it, just as keeping other quarry cats, keep at least six of them together, and you're gonna have a lot of fun in that tank. 
Now right behind me here, we've got a whole stack of 10 gallon tanks. Another really good option is the dwarf chain loach. Be a little bit careful here. They do eat snails, they will eat shrimp, and they can be a little bit more assertive than other types of loaches, especially for their size. But this is a great little tiny fish if you can find them that might serve as a nice scavenger fish for food that falls to the bottom of the tank. They're not gonna eat algae, but they're an interesting active little fish. All right, everyone, so those were some options. Again, if you've got some smaller tanks, need a cleanup crew, these might give you some good options to start with. Really appreciate you being here, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.